Right, okay, basically today we're going to be making a, um, a dash code widget and it's going to have a set of buttons and you press one and it's going to take you to the website you, you, you want to go on to. So if you don't have it already already there, then you go on to Finder, Macintosh HD, Developer, Applications, and then Dash Code. So okay, we got Dash we got different templates for it. You can have a Safari one, which we'll do another time, or you can use a dashboard one. Today we're gonna to use dashboard and custom. Okay, and click choose. It basically already has a, a widget sort of template made up for you. So if we delete the words and resize it slightly. Okay, so we have two buttons. Now button there, button there. One's gonna be for Google, one's gonna be for Yahoo. So if we move it around to where we want them to be, I'll have mine there like that. I'm gonna resize my box. This one's gonna say Google. And this one's gonna say Yahoo. Okay. Size it a bit better so it fits nicely. You can resize it by using this little little square here. Um, I'm going to move the X slightly out of the way so it gives us a bit more space to work on. Uh, if you if you um, haven't already got your inspector on the side here and your library on the other side here, and um, just basically click, click inspector and library. It might come up both so they're like that, but you can move them to how you like. I might move mine to like this. Um, so if we want to change the colour of that, we click on that, click on the actual template itself. I'm going to have mine as a solid fill, and I think I'll have a nice red colour. Lighten it up. We can change our colours or different ready-made colours and stuff through going through these. Uh, I just personally prefer the wheel. Okay, so we've got a colour that we like. If we go on effects and glass, it adds another effect, so it gives it a nice shiny effect. Um, you can change how shiny it is, so it's not very shiny or very shiny. It depends to your liking. Have a recess, so it's gone. It's almost gone in. If you get what I mean, or you can't, it's up to you. It's however you want it. I personally like mine without it. Um, you can also change the roundness of your corners, so you can have it, you know, really round. You can have it square. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to personally keep this like that. Um, you can change the opacity, which changes like how transparent it is. You can have a reflection at the bottom, so you can see everything which you can't see on here because there isn't another bit underneath, but I'll show you with the buttons. And if you click on the button and you've got reflection, and there you go, you've got it there. Um, I personally don't like the reflection that much, so I won't have that, but it's up to you. Um, it's the same with this, you can have it so how, how um, transparent you want it to be, it's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to keep mine so you can see it nice and clearly. Okay, so I think you can also change the eye. No, you can't. Okay, you can't change the eye by any, any way because it's already made by app, by uh, Mac or Apple. So then, let's go on to the coding. Now you've got your buttons, you want to go on to your library and code. If you go into the search bit at the bottom, We'll type in website, that's website, I haven't spelled it right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, now you've got that. If you go back onto your button, button, your first button here of mine is Google. I'm going to go onto events, on click, and my click handler, and add. It comes up with, with the coding down below. You can also get do that by going onto your glass button, which in, this is the Google one, which is that one. I can go on, right click on that one as well and on click and so on and do exactly the same but in this case I'm going to use a right click straight from there. Okay so we've got our, our code here which we have to insert. If we highlight that if it isn't already highlighted and press delete. Then with the website one you want to highlight all of this, copy it and paste. Okay so now we've got the website that's there so if I click on run it and click on Google now it'll take me to the Apple website because that's what it's being set as. If you go onto Google, it doesn't matter how you go onto it, whether you search it or you have a quick link, whichever. I personally use a quick link. Um, so you've got your you've got your your Google search engine. Go into the search bar at the top, 
or look the search bar in the address bar, copy it, copy the URL, and go back onto it, you highlight the apple http.com and the slash and you paste it and you've got your website there so if we run it if we stop and run it again you've got Google click on it and it takes you to Google now which is what we want. So if we stop again. It's the same for Yahoo, just only you, you do um go on you get the Yahoo website. So you've got the insert bit again, delete it, and you copy all this again. Um, copy paste change that if you want to change well you will change that again if you want to use Yahoo if you go back on Safari or whichever web browser you're using um, Yahoo okay, you've got the search engine again if you go back into the address, address bar and copy it you can use um, command C which is one that I use for copying and command V which is a quick way of copy and pasting so I'm gonna paste it back in there. If you have if it isn't already highlighted, you have to re-highlight it and then delete and then go back paste the um the new URL in. Okay, so we've got both of them now. If we click run, we've got Yahoo now as well. So it comes up Yahoo and we've also got Google. So that's what we want. That's that's basically um the hardest bit done. So if you stop if you stop the widget, um save. I'm going to save mine as search engine widget. Okay, so we save that. I've saved it to to desktop because it's a quick. I find it a quick way of getting to things. So I I can just uh, minimize things. Okay, so basically we've got the first bit done. The front of it. If you want to change the back, which is that bit, you also have a dash code thing which you don't really want. I resize it back to the size it was before. I shouldn't have done that, sorry. Um, okay, if you go back onto the back then, so you've got your back there. If you want to put your name on it, or you might want to put a logo on it, you just, if you've got a logo that you want it, you say it's on your desktop, you just drag it in, and then it'll come back into it. If not, if you want to put text on it, so say it's for some member of your family or a friend or something, you could write um, something like, um, to whoever it is, love from whoever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna personally make put um, by James, or I could put it as from Spook eight one one. Okay. And if you want to change the color of the text, you just go back into there. And if there's no other colors there that you like, click on custom, which take you back to the wheel or whichever one you have clicked on. I'm going to go for white because it stands out on there. Okay, so that's done. So that's now you've got your back finished. You can move on to your attributes, which are basically its identity. So that's that's where I can find mine. You can let people access it and change everything. So you can have a plug in things. Personally, I'm not going to change it, but you can if you want. And you've got your default image of it. Um, that's my default image, so that's basically a picture of your widget. You've got your icon, I'm going to keep mine like that, but you can drag and drop pictures into it. Um, you can open an external ex um, ex editor, so in my case it's preview, it depends whichever one you want. And you can import pictures, place, and stop the sync. Okay, so basically now we've finished everything, we want to click run and share. So you can change to which compatibility you want, so you can have it to 10.43 or or um, you can have it 10.4. I'm going to go 10.4. Um, change the name of it if you want to. That's my name of mine. If you want it to save it to a project, uh, do you want it, if you want to save your project to a disk before deploying it, so you can have it saved to your desktop before you actually put it into your dashboard. So I'm going to save mine to disk as a separate widget. So now I've got my widget there as a proper widget now instead of a saved file. So I can put that on any Mac now. And it will work as a widget once I've installed it. So go back onto the search engine. If you got a search engine widget, sorry. If you go on the deploy dashboard, it will replace it because I've already got one made for my sister. Um, you click, you click keep. You've got the option there, um, and you're ready. You're finished.
So basically that's my tutorial on Dashco making a, a search widget. Um, I'm going to make another one pretty soon and it's going to be on a proper as a, an actual search widget so I can have it so it'll have a I have a search field on it and you can search it as if it's the search engine in front of you. Um, subscribe to Spook811's channel um, and hope to see you again.